Thanks to Caesar for sponsoring this video. Guess what this is? It's got a 24 megapixel CMOS sensor, HDMI ports, cameras built in. What is it? So before I tell you what it is, uh, we have a giveaway in this video. We're doing this now for about four or five months. Awesome chance to say thank you for supporting me over the years. Uh, and I wanna give you a PS5, since they are still insanely hard to find, or if you don't want a PS5 or live in an area where I can't send it to you, cash value uh, of a retail PS5 with the, with the disc. At least you've got the option to, to play some media if you want. Uh, leave a comment down below. Be sure to leave your social handle in the comment if you do not. You cannot be entered to win because I cannot contact you if you win. Open anywhere in the world, so go for two weeks. All information will be down below. So back to the question, what is this? Meet the Caesar ET24 Pro Book Scanner. Probably not words you've seen together very often. This is a book scanner, but it does something that I don't think anybody has ever seen before, at least I haven't. Now, if you're like me, you probably never thought to scan an entire book, and that would make sense. Why would you scan a whole book? Uh, but there are a few use cases where I think this would come in crazy handy. The most obvious one, the lowest hanging of the fruit, uh, is someone in school. Textbooks are gigantic, they are heavy, and they are quite literally old school, uh, and there's no way to search that book for content. You have to go in the back, look things up, flip to the pages, uh, and find what you want. And you can't sort of mark it up without ruining the book. And if you want to sell it, it's a whole thing. Uh, but with a book scanner like this, you can scan that entire book in a few minutes. In literally a few minutes, and they've got a completely digital version. All right, so setting this Mamma Jamma up is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's a base where the book goes. Then there's sort of an arm that overhangs that section. Uh, and in that arm, this is a 24 megapixel CMOS sensor with a resolution of 5696 by 4272. It gives you a DPI of 320 uh, in 24-bit color, which is more than enough to get an insanely high quality scan. Now, hardware aside, you need the software to kind of run it. Uh, and that is really where the, I think this value comes in. You can obviously take a photo of a page in your book with your phone, get the digital copy that way. But if you want to do with an entire book like that, it would be a pain, take a very, very long time. The Caesar software takes all the pain points away. It makes scanning actually super fast. No matter sort of what you are using, it should run with it, compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. And Caesar's got it patented. They call it Book Curve Flatten Technology. Uh, it does what it says when scanning a book. So usually a book like has a curve when it's open. Uh, so the software automatically straightens that out. So you just straight and correct. So you don't have to flatten the book yourself. And that's a pretty good thing, especially if you want to keep the book as pristine as possible. So now that I've explained what this thing is, let me just run through it and show you how to use it. All right, so let me show you how this works. Let's say maybe you've got some comics that might be worth some money, but they're, you know, in plastic and super shiny. Ordinarily, that would be a problem for scanners. You can see there's glare and reflection. So you can do a couple things. You can check it out first, turn on the light, and be like, oof, that's too much. Too much light happening there, we don't want that. So we can use the side light, which is conveniently located right back here. Turn that on, turn these lights off, and look at that, the glare is gone. Uh, and then you can scan whatever you want. I've got a foot pedal here set up, um, but you can push a multitude of buttons on the device. We'll fit it with my foot, boom, scan happens, and I'm all set. And I could pick a bunch of different options on what I want this scan, how I want it to look, single flat page, facing pages, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and now I've got a perfect uh, scan of Wolverine number one, which is pretty dope. Uh, but let's say you wanted to actually scan some pages. Let's do that here. Punisher POV, kind of an old school comic. So I want to go to facing pages. There we go. Open it up. And you've got a few options here. Let's say I want to scan this page. So you put it kind of in the middle right there. You can hold it and try to get it to go flat. That will work. But you also have these things, which have a name. They are called finger cuts, which did not know was an actual thing, but there it is and it's real. And they used to sort of hold pages flat. So you can hold one, hold it there, get that line right in the middle, hit the foot pedal if you want to use said finger cut. And then what it's going to do, you see you got two pages here uh, being scanned. Now I've got perfect representations of both pages without uh, the finger cuts being shown, which is kind of cool. Nice way to flatten the pages and see how clean. Uh, that scan looks there. A bunch of different ways you can do it. Combining signs or manually select what you want to scan. Uh, a lot of really cool ways to go about it. But let me show you again how to take photos. So how to, how to scan. So 
let's say I want to do single flat page. So here it is, Punisher POV with special guest, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I got a couple options. Like I said, I can push the button there on top and that'll go ahead and take a picture and do the scanning. If I wanted to reach around, I've got a button right there that'll do the same thing. And then I've got that foot pedal. Then I've got a bunch of lights I can pick and choose from to try to get the best lighting effect. So there's one shot overhead, two, and you can see it, and the glare goes away. Uh, so you can decide how you want to scan. So obviously if you want to scan things by pushing the button or using the foot pedal, you can do that. But if you're scanning a long book or a big document, that can get tedious. Uh, this has auto scan built in. It actually will detect as you turn the page. And when the page is turned, it'll take the scan for you automatically. And you just keep scrolling through your book and turning the pages and it will do all the legwork for you. Uh, but also it matters how you're gonna save these things as well, right? So you could save it as a PDF. Uh, you could save it as a JPEG, save it into Excel. And the information can be editable as well. And probably more importantly than that, uh, it can be searchable. So obviously this scans well, but you can do more with it, especially if you're you know, having a Zoom uh, type meeting. So first, if you go to Zoom and you try to share your screen, uh, you can share what the scanner sees, which is nice. You can flip through your comic book, your book, whatever you want to do. But if you want to get more control of what you're showing, you go to Visual Presenter. That lets you do things like zooming, uh, annotations, and a bunch more. So it sort of makes this go beyond uh, just a book scanner. And it sounds like an insane thing to even talk about a book scanner. But if you've got a use for it, you're never gonna go back after using this. Um, it also has sort of a really cool lighting feature in And this is probably one of the most important things to get right when you're doing sort of a high quality scan. So of course, ET24 Pro has it built in. So when you're shining a light down on a glossy page, you're gonna get glare. So to combat this, there's actually detachable side lights that illuminate the sides instead of above. This reduces the glare you might get. So no matter what you are scanning, you're gonna get a really high quality image. All right, so that's the Caesar ET24 Pro. And I know this sounds like a really obscure thing to talk about. In a lot of ways it is. And you probably know already, this is for you or it's not for you. But if you have a use case for this and you are scanning a lot of things, this is going to be like a life-changing bit of tech to try and use. If it sounds like something that you would want to check out, we have a bunch of links in the description to learn more or even try to pick one up for yourself. Again, a big shout out and thank you to Caesar for sponsoring this video. See you guys next one.